Abortion advocates here in Huntsville are mobilizing to determine how they can help set up a network to get women to other states for abortions. Way 31's Matt Kroschel spoke with a Huntsville Women's March organizer. And Matt, pro-choice advocates are rallying, but they also have a warning about what's to come. A dire warning indeed here at the clinic, one of the only three in the state that up until this morning was performing abortions, elective abortions, that is. Uh, they gathered here this morning to really try to understand what all this means. So right now, since it is illegal in the state of Alabama to get an abortion, they are telling women that are showing up here that the next nearest clinic would be in Atlanta. It's a private clinic, at least for right now. So this morning, both uh, sides of this issue, a lot of those supporters on both sides showing up here outside of this clinic uh, as that decision came down. Meanwhile, women rights advocates are plotting their next steps and reacting to this blow to the cause. I'm thinking of women with less, with fewer resources than I have, desperate women who are raped, who are, who are young, who they will, desperate people do desperate things and they will, they will take measures into their own hands. I mean, we're talking about going back into the dark ages of the septic abortion wards. Just because abortion will become outlawed does not mean that it will stop happening. It will just be less safe. Pro-choice supporters say they are not going anywhere. They tell me right now those efforts are underway to make their voices heard, even threatening to go on strike if necessary. Uh, this afternoon, Alabama's Democrat chair, uh, Representative Chris England, issuing a statement on this decision from the court saying in part that uh, Alabama Democrats expect Democrats in Washington to act and pass laws that protect abortion access for all Americans. He went on to say they need federal action now. Reporting live in Huntsville, Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News.